And hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. So the other day I got a comment asking me how to install Lua on Linux. Because I made tutorials on how to do it on Windows and I just said Linux users will be able to do this without a problem. But then I got a comment telling me they didn't actually know how to do it. So a few people are still a little bit confused, which is understandable. If you are on Linux, then it's fairly simple. I'm going to show you the two ways I know how to do it. Depending on your distribution, this might change. If you're on a Debian slash Ubuntu based distro, this would be things like Linux Mint, Pop OS, Ubuntu, Debian, anything that falls into like those categories, it's not just limited to those, will be Debian or Ubuntu based. In that case, what you can do is you can go to applications and just find the terminal. I'm using Pop OS, but this again should work on any Ubuntu based distro. Once you're here, you just say sudo apt update and this will just update your repository so you have the latest apps when you download. Now I get a bunch of errors here. You should not see this. Only reason I get these errors is because this is my play distro. This is what I use to just test things and ruin everything. Cool. Now once you've done that, you can just say sudo apt cache search lua. Now you should see a ton of things here, but if we were to just increase the size here, then we can go up here, search for Lua. I'm just going to filter by Lua, just so we don't get anything that's not directly related to Lua. Here we go. All right, so we can choose from here. You can choose one of these. So Lua 5.1 would be Lua version 5.1. And then here would be the latest, Lua version 5.4. Depending on what you want, you can choose any of these. You can even download all of them if you want. I'm going to say I want Lua version 5.3 as an example. Then I can say sudo apt install Lua 5.3. If you want a different version of Lua as well, you can add it here. So Lua 5.3. Four, for example. So now I will get Lua 5.3 and 5.4. When I do this, it will start installing Lua. Now I have Lua version 5.3 and 5.4 on my system. When I type Lua and press tab two times, you'll see I get Lua 5.3 and 5.4 here. If I say Lua 5.3, press enter, now I'm in the Lua console. So the Lua interpreter, if I put Lua code here, print X, it will work. Similar, if I were to, let's just echo, print hello world into test.lua. So now I have a file here called test.lua. If I want to run this, I need to say Lua 5. Point, let's go 5.4 this time, but you could use 5.3 here or 5.2 of whichever version you used. And you could say test.lua. And now you'll see it does execute that file. Now that is if you're on an Ubuntu based distro. Let's say you don't use Ubuntu. Let's say instead you like to use Arch. If you like to use Arch, then I am assuming you know how to install this. But let's say you don't know how to install it. Then here we could just maybe create terminal and let's just resize it a little bit. If you're on Arch, you can go pacman-ss lua. You also get a ton of things, but it should be a little bit easier to find it. So here we get lua fire free, so we're getting close. Scroll all the way up. And here we're starting to see a bunch of luas. Uh, let's see, here you also can download love if you want. And here we go. So we have Lua, Lander, you can also get Lua 5.2, which would be 5.2, 5.3. This Lua here will be the latest, so it will be 5.4. If you just say you want to download Lua, you'll get the latest version of Lua. But you could also specify 5.3, for example. So you'll see I actually have 5.3 and 5.4 installed on my system in case I need to switch between one of the two. But you can also get 5.2 and 5.1. But you could just say Pacman dash S. Lua, or if you want Lua 5.3, Lua 5.3. 
I already have both of these installed, so it's not going to allow me to install them. But if I go like that, then here it actually says it's already installed, so it's going to reinstall it. In this case, I don't really care, so I'm just going to say no. But if you said yes here, it would install Lua. And this is if you're an Arch-based distro, so it would be Endeavor OS, Manjaro, Arch, all of these. If you're on Fedora, you'll have to use DNF. You could use similar patterns. They all work somewhat the same. But yes, that is how you install Lua on Linux. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all again in the next tutorial.